Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Swiss Chick Duck here, and today we're gonna be playing some Terraria. Yes, we are, guys, and it's been so long since we actually played Terraria. I mean, I mean, I have been doing the Terraria Let's Plays, but I did want to go back to do the Terraria Challenge videos because uh, they are really fun to do, and uh, it's been so long since I actually made one. So today we're gonna be playing some Terraria, like I said before, and we're gonna be picking a challenge from a subscriber that has been with us for so long. I, I believe he's been with us for more than six or so months. I'm actually gonna check after making this video and that is Sly Hero. I wanna thank you for watching my videos and he wants us to do uh, three Skeletrons and two Destroyers using the Mithril Armor. So we're gonna be doing that now. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, prime three, there we go. Destroyer. Oh God, I misspelled it too. Okay. So yeah, guys, we're gonna be fighting this monstrosity here with the star cannon yeah he did say uh, tell us to use a star cannon so we're gonna be actually doing this and a, and a lot of people or maybe not a lot of people I don't know since we haven't been doing the series a long for like a long time maybe some of you guys are wondering well uh, duck what are you actually doing this series uh, well to be uh, honest or to be totally like accurate uh, it's basically where you guys give me challenges and uh, I try to do them. I was doing it with Llama a while ago, but he's not here right now. So uh, if you guys want to give me challenges that you guys think is going to be pretty cool, and if you guys want me to do it, uh, you guys can post them in the comment section down below. And the challenge that I think is going to be so exciting or challenging, I'm going to be doing that in the next video. And I'm going to be uh, giving you credit in the description and also in the video. So I guess it could also count out as, as like a shout out or something if you want to uh, take it that way. But... Um, Alright, we're actually going to be focusing here a little bit so that we can actually try to defeat them a lot soon. And there is like tons of hearts, so this is not really going to be so tough defeating them. It's just that we're going to have to uh, try to kill them soon enough. And uh, damn, the destroyer is super weak. Oh my, yeah. I'm going to have to totally destroy the destroyer first. Yeah, that I did say that because the destroyer should be destroyed to actually be destroyed. I don't know what I'm saying. But... Uh, the destroyers are at uh, 2,000 health. They are dead. One of them is dead at least. And the other one is at 14k health. And he's going to die. And I have the recording allergies. Oh my god. I'm going to cough any moment now. Uh, yeah, I just cough right now. But they died. They died. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. So, um, so what I also do in the series is trying to give you guys a little bit of some tips that I can like try to find. And the easiest way to actually fight the Skeletron is what you got to do is, uh, alright, you don't have to fly. You shouldn't fly when you're fighting the Skeletron. You want to run from it. Uh, some of you might be wondering why you're running from the Skeletron. Well, because sometimes the Skeletron chases you like this, and uh, you just got to go back a little bit and then hit the Skeletron. So this way, you're actually hitting all of its arms and also his, uh, his face. And uh, you do, like, so much freaking damage. It's, it's just unbelievable. And, uh, I mean, we I did... Oh, and uh, a lot of you guys might be wondering, well, Duck, how on earth did you get... 1,700 stars. Um, that is because in the Terraria challenge videos, uh, we're not really going for trying to find a lot of stuff or trying to get a lot of ammo because this is just like pure challenge. It's not It's not a challenge where you got to find stuff. So uh, we do use a mod uh, called T-Shock that helps us spawn all these things. And somebody's at the, at the front of my house trying to say something, but hopefully it doesn't get in the video. But um, we also use T-Shock because there is no way you can spawn two Skeletrons, at least I don't think in the vanilla version of Terraria, so you might require mods like T-Shock, and uh, don't get me wrong, T-Shock isn't a bad mod, I love T-Shock, it's actually a pretty good mod, and if you want to run like a multiplayer server, it's really cool, because you can actually protect a lot of stuff on the server, and uh, yeah guys, the Skeletrons are going to be down pretty soon, because they are at about uh, 18,000, so we are almost at halfway through, so we're just going to have to concentrate a little bit, and try to kill them, and just try to aim at their faces, and oh my god, I did not just say that, just ignore me. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing so much damage right here, and that is so much damage, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to try to, yeah, I'm going to try to use use my Star Cannon right on its all, all of his body because I want to do a lot of damage to it and it's gonna it's just gonna it's just gonna take so much damage it's unbelievable and well, I'm I, I have my buffs too so this is great uh, I just gotta try to maintain this like accuracy so that I can try to finish him off early but 
uh, this is not really going to be a big deal because he's not doing that much damage to us. So we're just going to have to try to dodge his arms. Try not to take, try not to lose a, lo a lot of health because even though I'm dodging a lot, I'm, I am at like three, 300, oh my god, 330 health. It's, it's really confusing after playing like other games where you get like 3000 health. And I keep saying ridiculous amounts of health stuff. You know, it would be, it would, would be pretty cool if you had 4000 health on Terraria. You could, I don't know. I don't know. You could do... You could basically be a tank. But uh, I guess that could be overpowered. I saw a video a long time ago where there was this mod and this one guy was... Basically had like this huge laser that one-shotted the destroyer. And I think I've talked about this in a video not too long ago. Oh, it was probably long ago, probably like four months ago. But I am kind of excited to see that video because... It was sort of like, if you guys played League of Legends, it's sort of like uh, Lux's ultimate, Lux's laser. And he uses that on, on the destroyer. It's like a long laser and it just insta-kills him or something. But uh, I, don't, I don't remember that so much, but it would be pretty cool trying to insta-kill the destroyer though. Um, you could do it. But um, I guess that certainly defeats my record of trying to kill the destroyer in like under 14 seconds. But there are people that I think can do it a lot faster because on my video I I kind of like my mouse is kind of buggy when I did that video because I didn't really click on my mouse at at one point of time and I could have probably tried to kill them in like 12 seconds but uh, I'm still happy with the record to be honest though and um, yeah the destroyer what am I saying the destroyer is already dead destroyers like yesterday's news but the skeletons are at about 2500 health and we're just gonna go up and down up and down and we're gonna kill the skeleton so easily so uh if you guys want to submit your own challenges you guys can post them in the comment section down below and one of the main uh main things you guys got to focus on sending your challenges is it's got to be challenging and it shouldn't take too long to do so uh yeah guys i guess it's pretty much it so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time peace